Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. So today, as requested, we are going to be playing Four Haven on C. This one was designed by H League. Fairways are soft, greens are firm, green speed is fast, everything else is default, and we are playing off the blue tees, which are playing a whopping 7,843 yards. So without further ado, let's get right into this. There was such a high demand from a uh, my subscribers and followers on Twitter to play this one, so to everyone who reached out to me to play this course, this one is for you. So hole number one, par four, playing 473 yards, stroke index seven. Now this is a fictional Lynx course, and like I say, this hadn't been designed by H League. I do hope I'm pronouncing that properly. His previous course was a uh, Port Rush, the open venue for last year. I have been told that this is a fairly challenging course. And as you guys know, I love a challenge, so let's get on with this and see how we play. So we've got a 6 mile per hour wind. Can we make it up there? There's no options left or right here. Well, we could go down that side of the fairway, but... Let's not uh, cheese the designer off. Let's play the course the way it was meant to. Just drop down to the 2 wood. So straight away you can see that... The wind is going to dictate how you can play certain holes. If that 6 mile per hour wind was with me, I would easily get up onto that second tier of the fairway. But decent open and swing, push that slightly to the right. But we are back on the master clubs. Like I said, just try to vary things up through club selection and different play formats. So 206 yards into that 7 mile per hour wind, just going to deal off this 5 iron. Lots of uh, slopes and breaks in that first green. Just applying a touch of fade here just to counteract that wind and see if we can get this up close to the flag stick. There's the first laser beam of the round. Now this should break beautifully with the green. Come on, if we find this slope, we have really hit the jackpot here. I think we've just about found it. That should turn towards the pin. What a fantastic opening approach shot that was there, guys, using the contours of the green to our advantage. So we're left with a 9-foot puck. Green speeds are 186. This one's going to turn to the right. Good first read, and we are awarded with an opening birdie, so we do move to 1 under par. Hole number two, par five, playing 544 yards, stroke index 17. So this makes this hole the second easiest hole in the course, according to the stroke index. But wow, the scenery here is absolutely stunning. I actually watched a film called uh, The Lighthouse last night, and it's eerily familiar to this uh, surroundings. It's bizarre. But this looks like it should be a fairly straightforward hole. Depending if we... Uh, Get our tee shot on the fairway. Imagine that slope there is going to kick us over to the left hand side of the fairway towards the bridge. Bridges are beautifully done by the way. Fantastic swing. This ball should kick to the left here. There we go. We find that little slope which does take us more towards the edge of that fairway and I would imagine we can reach this green in two now 253 yards out two feet down just going to look to use the green once again if we are too long we've got a stop gap at the back which is going to take our ball back down here so just looking to use that slope to our advantage What an execution. Why is that ball going left? That is bizarre. I would imagine we're just going to hold the green here, but I cannot understand how that ball veered left. The wind was taking me to the right. It looked like I had a, a really good swing line. Maybe due to the amount of loft we put on, but we're left with a 27 foot putt, 5 inches downhill. This one is breaking to the right, should start to turn back, 
I tell you what, what a putt that is, guys, for the eagle. And we do move to three under par through the first two holes. What a start to this round. But hole number three, par three, playing 213 yards, stroke index one, making this the hardest hole on the course. I never seem to understand why par threes are 99.9% .9 of the time the hardest hole on the majority of these courses due to the the Golf Club 2019 stroke index system. But I think we're really in between clubs here. Just going to fully loft this hybrid up here and hope that that wind does hold us up and bring us round to the left. If we're too far right of the flagstick here, that ball's just disappearing off the green. So just looking for this wind to bring us around. It's a good strike. The wind's bringing us around beautifully. This should sit down fairly quickly due to the amount of loft we've applied here. And that is a fantastic golf shot. Really swinging well today. I have been in the, the driving range for about 30 minutes prior to this round. It's going to set us up with a 10 foot putt down 3 inches. It's going to break to the right. Oh, you are kidding me. That looped in all the way until it caught the edge of the cup and for some reason defied the laws of gravity and didn't drop. So robbed of a birdie there. But we'll drop the par and take that on the chin. But this course reminds me, it's very similar to uh, Cabot Lynx, uh, a course from Nova Scotia, Canada, which I reviewed a while back, probably about a month ago, two months ago in the course. Same kind of feel, very remote course. But hole number four, playing 565 yards. Par five, stroke index 13, tight greens. Look at that waterway there, that is fantastic. The attention to detail on this course is nothing short of spectacular. Very, very creative here from the designer. Very tight fairway here. But imagine... The way that fairway is going to kick, we should be okay if we find the right-hand side of this. So just going to allow the wind to bring us over to the right-hand side of that fairway. Swinging lovely. But spectacular views here, guys. And we've played that really well. I think we're not going to be able to attack this green. Oh, I tell you what, two iron is just about going to make this. We may have to try and use the bridge. Just two woods far too long. Let's deal off this two iron. I'm looking for a kick off this bridge here. This could go horribly wrong. We may carry the bridge, but I would doubt it. This could kick anywhere if we are successful. It's a laser beam. We're right on track for the bridge here. Where's it going to kick? Oh, it, 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 it kicks right into that heavy, heavy rough. And we're going to do well to get out of this and get up and down for a par even. 68 to 75%. Let's just see if we can get this close. Going to have to drop a club here. So Sam Wedge just going to loft this up a touch to get a bit of height in this. Just as long as we find the front of the green, we should be okay. <laughs> but we've not been rewarded for being aggressive there. But as you guys know, I'm an aggressive player. Is it going to sit? Oh, it's not bad. I'll tell you what, I'll take it. I've got a putt for birdie. You guys don't come here to watch me lay up and play safe shots. So 12 feet. Down one inch. This one's got on a really aggressive break left here. Should turn for us. Oh, it just burns the edge, I think. Never seen it due to my character's shoulder. Oh, that's actually went really far past to the left. So challenging greens here. Tough par putt. At least it's uphill. So we are successful with the part, despite our poor putt line. Gutted not to get birdie there. 
but we're going to remain three under par. Okay, let's see what happens so hole number five, par four, playing 466 yards, stroke index 11. But I'm so impressed with the first four holes of this course. Tight fairways here. Slight dog leg right. Like I say, it's a very remote Lynx course. It's got similarities to Cabot Lynx from Nova Scotia, Canada, like I said a few holes ago. But I do hope all you viewers and subscribers are keeping well, guys, and adhering to the government rules about staying in, staying safe, keeping your family and friends safe. It's weird times that we are living in. I never thought in my lifetime that I would experience this, but I'm certainly keeping my family safe by staying in and hopefully this all passes soon so a fantastic tee shot find the left side of the fairway so 160 yards into this green I was looking at the the nine iron there but the way the fairway contours and runs off I'm gonna have to fully loft up this eight iron Let's see if we can get this close. There's no green to work with here. No slope that we can use. Just try to fire this right at the flag stick. Ball's going to go hard right, just like that, our feet. That wind should start to straighten us up. What a strike. This could be really, really good. Come on, turn towards the pin. I know you want to. It's a really good shot. Maybe just came up a yard short. I did look to fire that on the green. We just find the fringe, but we are awarded with a 13 foot putt. Slightly downhill, going to break to the left. I don't think we've gave that enough break. No, we haven't. Didn't allow enough for the break. And our putting has not been the best today so far. I think I maybe rushed that one a little bit. But we do walk away with a part. Solid goal so far. And we are going to remain at three under par. Hole number six, par three, playing 234 yards, stroke index five. This is going to be a long par three. Look at this landing area, guys. It's a slightly raised green. Really like that, depending on your pin position today. That raised green's not going to cause us a problem. So looking for the 5 hybrid, I'm looking for this wind to take me all the way round and then the green should turn back on itself towards the flag stick to the right. Oh, I've pulled it. We're going to miss the green completely. So first real poor swing if the round has punished us, and we are. Now you're going to have a little shot from the light rough. 89 to 94%, so even the light rough is fairly punishing. Going to have to flop this up. If we are long. We've got a safety net of that slope. Which we find that should trickle back down. Oh my word, it's stuck up there stone dead. That is bizarre. Fully expected that to come back down, but we do have a putt. Breaking both ways. I'm favouring that it's going to break stronger to the left here, it needs to start to turn back, oh it does, it does, it's a very good read, and we do somehow scramble a par there, bizarre how that ball never came back down to us, I'm sure our feet was right on the end of the slope, but hole number 7, short par 4 for this course, playing 376 yards stroke index 9, not sure if that's houses or, or outbuildings, it's just on our left hand side there. But there's a pier off in the distance. Geez, oh, it's been a while since I've seen a pier in the game. I've got a pier where I live. On the local beach. Oh, it's a tough tee shot. Very, look how narrow it is up here. So we're going to have to try and draw this. And just hope that we do kick off of the, the heavy rough here. Out back into the fairway. Imagine the heavy rust brutal. 
on this course. What an execution. There's a draw. This should kick us back onto the fairway, surely. Is it going to hold the fairway? Please sit. You're kidding me. Oh, why? Where is the golfing gods today when you need them? There you go. The course punishing me for once again trying to be aggressive here. Thought I played a fan fantastic tee shot there, but we're going to be pitching this from 81 yards out. It's uphill. Just try to use that slope at the back here. would imagine this is going to find that. 91 to 96%. Just weighing up my shot options here, guys, but I think it is best with a pitch shot. That wind's far too strong to play a full lob wedge. Nice. Good execution. We are going to find the slope. It's sh oh, it's really powerful bounce. Wow. Wow. Really didn't expect that bounce. We were on a bit of no man's land there because I don't think if I dropped down a club, it would have reached. So this is a really tricky... What is going on with my... Uh, touch today on the controller? So we are going to have to flop this. This is a tricky shot. We don't execute as well. We're going to have a tough putt for the part. Just looking at an 80% swing here. We get it. Should check back. Or not. Oh, wow. So we are going to have a little chip shot for the par here. It's fairly straight. Let's see if we can put this right in the cup. Just going to use a flag stick to our advantage here. See if we can ram this into the, the heart of the cup. That's on track. Oh, what a putt that is, guys. And somehow we've avoided a bogey there. But this course is set to punish you for every little mistake you make. And I do love courses like that. So hole number eight. Long par five playing 596 yards stroke index 15. There's a lighthouse. And that's what I'm saying. It's, it's eerily spooky. Because um, I didn't actually plan to cover this course today. But I watched that film, The Lighthouse, last night. Great film if you've not watched it. But the the settings of this course are eerily familiar to the, the film. But fantastic scenery here at this course. Another tight, tight fairway. Very little room for mistake in this course. But thank you to the, the people that reached out and have requested me to to play this course. Hopefully they were looking for me to suffer, but there's a fast, it's a non-deliberate fast to be honest there, guys. It's probably going to work out in our favour for an extra four, five, six yards. So 302 yards to the flag stick. We're not making this. I'm not seeing any other landing zone. Don't want to come all the way down to the two iron. Let's just see if we can chase this as far up the fairway as possible. We may find the rough. This ball's going to shoot to the left here due to the lie of our feet. Oh, I've put another fast on it. That's in trouble. So two consecutive fasts. And with that, we're going to be over on that heavy rough and into the the deep stuff like John says so 53 yards out 76 to 83 percent could be another par 5 that we failed to birdie due to my decision making but I'm an aggressive player and I'm never going to change I'm just going to loft this up a little bit it should run out fairly well for us it shouldn't di sit down instantly great execution this is on track can stop anytime now. What a recovery shot that is, guys. And we should be rewarded with a little tap in birdie putt. Four footer. Yes. And we do get back on the birdie train. And we move to four under par. So the final hole of the front nine.
It's a long par four, playing 521 yard stroke index three. But look at the views here, guys. Beach on the left. Sea surrounding this part of the course. I mean, what a fantastic name, Four Haven. I wonder if the four stands for, as in four, because a lot of your shots could go wayward here. Be interesting to see if the the designer does stop by the channel comments and lets us know about the name. So with that wind, it's going to move us to the right. Just a huge ridge here. I'd imagine we're going to find. Should kick us on fairly well though. There's a fast. It's another non-intentional fast. But we'll take it. Look at that bridge work here by the way. Forgot to mention that out in the flyover. The bridge work is supreme. Such a creative designer. I wonder what his inspiration was for this course, but like I say, I think his previous course I did play was Royal Port Rush. And going by his comments, this is his latest course since then. So five iron into this wind. It's another good swing. Just looking to find the right hand side of the, the green here. This should trickle all the way up towards the pin now. Please sit. It's a fantastic golf shot. It's travelled a lot more than I would have hoped. Nice. There's very little reward on this course, to be honest. I mean, I'm trying my best to use the contours of the green to my advantage. So 20 foot for the birdie. That should start to turn back. Have we hit it hard enough though? Didn't really play that firm enough and with that the break really exaggerated more and what it was due to the slow pace. But the greens are tough, make no mistake about that. The course is tough. Like I say, and like you've seen, you make one mistake, it's going to be severely highlighted and punished. But I've not been rewarded yet for good shots, or what I deem good shots. Hole number 10 is another monster par 4, playing 535 yards, stroke index 2. I just love the sound of that crash in waves, guys. It's absolutely fantastic once again. Look how thin and narrow these fairways are. Imagine living in that house is there. Beautiful. Certainly has a Scottish feel to it, the course. A remote Scottish Highlands Lynx course. So just try to use this wind to your advantage here. Should take us round. Fantastic tee shot. I think we've only failed to find one fairway so far and we were very unlucky with the bank shot. But this is a very strategic course. The hazards are, are defending every part of the course. So 229 yards out. I'm going to come down to 5 hybrid here. Just going to apply a lot of draw as you can see. See if we can run this on from the fairway. Green really slopes down towards the flag. 10 mile per hour when it's going to take us to the right. But we have applied enough draw. What a strike that is. This is on track you know. This is on track. We should find this slope green, please. Yeah, we find it. How close this is going to get to the pin, I don't know. Keep working down. Ah, didn't get as close as we would have liked, but we just barely made the green and no more. I would imagine if we find that with a wee bit more pace, that could have worked out a lot better. But we've got a 21 foot putt for the birdie. That should be in. That should drop. Oh, that went right over the top of the cup. I swear. I can't wait to watch that back on YouTube. But give me your opinion on that one, guys. Did that go right over the top of the the hole? Or did it just catch the edge? Could be me. My eyes are not the best at the moment. But that certainly looked like it went right over the top of the cup. Defying the laws of gravity. So that's two birdies that we've been so unlucky not to pick up. But hole number 11. It's another long par 3, so the par 3s for the majority are long. Look at that bridge. Look at this bunker here. 
protecting this pin. Wow. What a course, by the way. Thank you to everyone who um, reached out to me on Twitter and YouTube asking me to, to play this course. And now I can see it. You guys clearly wanted to see me try and suffer. So just applying a touch of fade here. Going with the wind. Look how far left I'm setting this out. Just going to deal off this with a two iron. Convinced if I find that slope, it should head towards the pin. I'm not going to say it's when he... Oh, I put a fast on it. We're not going to find that slope now. It's going to go right through the back of the green. I just tried to find that slope. It's probably another five or six feet to the right. But to be fair, I have had a few fasts, and that's the first one. It's really cost me. So once again, it's going to have to be a flop shot. There's no margin for error here whatsoever. This has just got to be a delicate touch. Just try to land this past that slope. Oh, we've played it well. Check up. What a recovery shot once again. And we should be rewarded with a little tap in par. So really enjoying this course, guys. But if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I think we're only two or three subscribers short of 2,300 subscribers. And thank you to all my current subscribers who continue to watch my content. I do really appreciate it. But hole number 12 is another long par 4 playing 500 yard stroke index 10. I do have some great courses coming up on the channel. Some more online matchmaking. I'm going to be taking on a few subscribers as well. And of course, we are going to be continuing with Tiger Woods PGA Tour 12, the Masters on the Wii U. What a game that is. So just applying a touch of fade here just to counteract this wind. Put a fast on it. I shouldn't really affect me. It's another fast. I'm, I'm certainly not intending these fast guys. You'll notice when I try to play an intentional fast, my swing line's certainly not as clean as that. Looking at around 155 yards so 157 yards. We've got a 9 mile per hour wind that should carry us. Just looking to see if we can kick on from the fairway here and find that slope. Just going to loft this up. That liar feet's going to move hard right here. Just try to kick this on from the front of the green. And let it trickle down towards the pin. Pulled it slightly left, but we should be okay due to the, the slope. This has got a chance of being really, really good. Come on. Sit down. And if you haven't already done so, guys, please spam that like button if you do appreciate good golf shots. Because you won't see a finer shot than that. Like I say, I'm calling out the shots I'm trying to execute, guys. You don't see that in other channels, really. But we do move to five under par. So hole number 13, par four. Short par four for this course. Playing 323 yards, stroke index 16. Look at this colossal... Um, it's like sinking sand, really, isn't it? Can't class that as a bunker. Wouldn't like to land on that. But really enjoying his little bridge works. We've had some huge bridges. We've had some little bridges. But very creative to get from hole to hole. But let's actually see if we can find this green. I'm going to try and play an intentional fast here. So you'll see the difference in my swing line if I do pull it off. It'll be a little bit wiggly-waggly. I'm sure if I fast... We could find... There's a fast. See what I mean about my swing line? This is tracking well. This should kick up onto the green for us. Is it going to hold the green? Sit down. Oh, what a shot that is. Once again, there's no reward. There's no reward. There's very little reward here. I've heard a few people say this is a risk-reward course. It isn't. We've got a lot of work to do here. I am going to flop this, guys. 61 feet out. Just try to set up a birdie opportunity here. That 
That's went a lot further past than I intended. Okay, here. So maybe the pure, uh, the wrong shot selection there. I've probably got like closer with a putt to be honest, but we've got an 11 foot putt. It's turning to the left. Looks good. Oh, wow, early. What is going on with my pattern today, guys? And I've actually put that about 10 feet past. Six, here. Too scary. six feet. Nowhere near 10 feet. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. I've not patted well today. Especially not on the birdie opportunities. But poor flop shot. Some of you say, oh, that's what you get for flopping on the green. It's a legal shot, guys. So let's move on to hole number 14. A long par five, easiest hole in the course playing stroke index 18, 592 yards. But that that my miss birdie opportunities today have really left a bitter taste in my mouth, and that's got nothing to do with the course. It's just been my lack of ability to putt today at crucial times. But I love how the fairways are in segments divided by hazards and rough and marsh, sink and sand. I don't think we'll find this slope. I think we'll just nestle on the top of this huge slope. That is really cool. There was actually a... At my lo local course, there's a... I've not played golf in years now, guys. Let me just take this tee shot. This wind should take us round to the right. Um, pulled that one. Um, yeah, it was, it was very similar to this, this ridge. But it was a lot closer to the tee box. It was probably about 100 yards out. We used to call it Duffer's Ridge. That ball's rolled all the way back. So, it's going to be a tough second shot in. Don't think we're going to... Let me see. There's no other way left or right. I think if I deal off this with that wind, we just about carry that. Heavy, rough, great strike. Come on, stay up. I think we've just about carried it. It should kick out of it. We do land on it. Oh, bunkers in play here. <laughs> Fortunately, we're just short of the bunker. And that's going to give us a little chip shot that hopefully we can execute well and pick up another birdie here. Just fully loft in this and we're really going to attack this aggressively. Good execution. Was never at the, the flag stick, but we are going to be tapping this in for the birdie, and we do move to six under par. On another day, I think we could have been seven or eight under. I think we've played really, really well this round for the majority. Probably some of my decision making because I'm an aggressive player, I could have probably played safer. But like I say, you guys don't come here to watch me play safe. Hole number 15, par 4, playing 497 yards, stroke index 4. Beautiful building there in car park. Very tight fairways here, guys. Is that tennis courts off there in the distance? I think it is. We'll get a closer look at them on our approach shot. Two iron. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm seeing a shot here. Can we hit this off the... The roof of this building, guys. It's got to be done. That wind's going to take us to the right. I'm just counteracting that wind with a touch. Touch of draw here. Let's see if we can kick this onto the fairway from the from this building. This is why it's called Four Haven. Oh, I've pulled it. I have pulled it. Oh, we were long anyway. It's going to hit the car. Oh, wow. I hope I'm insured by the course. Oh, we've been punished. I thought we may have kicked on. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy me taking these shots on. Like I say, I'm not a safe Sally. But look at the tennis courts. Fantastic touch. That looks like a a sports center with a little stand for the for the tennis courts. Really cool addition there. Don't want to come up too short here. Water doesn't play in the left. This the slope's going to take us way over to the left here as well, so we're aiming way right. The wind's going to help us out here also. How on earth has that gone so far left? I didn't think the, the slope was as severe as that. We aim way right at the flagstick. Oh, we find the heavy rough. So once again, our aggressive shots have not paid off this round. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But like I say, I'm not going to stop. 
playing that way at all. Because when they do work out, it's a great feeling. So let's see if we can flop this close. We've got a 68 to 75% light. This came up short. I didn't get 100% on it. I only got a 95%. I did intend the full swing there. This is a tricky little par putt. 10 feet out. Breaking to the left. Oh, what is... Oh, I've pulled it. Look at my putt line. My putting has been atrocious today, guys. It's really let down my my round. So we are going to pick up our first bogey of the round. And with that, we do move back to five. Under par. So hole number 16 is another par three. There's been lots of par threes in this course. I think this is the fifth par three, if I do, do recall. But it's playing 206 yards, stroke index six. This is probably one of the shorter par threes, so lots of variation here. I'm seeing a slope straight away that we could use. Got an eight mile per hour wind in our favor. Does this get there with five iron? I think it does. If we deal off this five iron, let's take it on. Try to get this really, really close. Use the contours of the green here. It's a decent strike. This is on track. This green should turn right. Get up that slope. Just didn't quite have the yardage to get there. But we do have a 20 feet foot putt break in multiple ways here. The greens are a great challenge. The entire course is a great challenge, guys. Some people will dislike this this course because they're not shooting 10, 12 under. It's another poor putt. My putting's really let me down today. I've had a touch like of an elephant in and around the greens. So five footer to walk away with par. Which we do. So let's move on to hole number 17. Par 4. 423 yards. Stroke index 12. This one looks like it's going to be a slight dog leg left. But guys, this is a fantastic course. I can't fault it, really. I love that retaining wall that's went round. The majority of the course is absolutely fantastic. But what a true Lynx course this is. So we've got an 11 mile per hour wind here. We can't, oh, I tell you what. Two wood should take us all the way up to the top of this. Water is in play here, but I'm going to take it on. It should leave us a little pitch or wedge into the green. Great strike. Just looking to use the majority of this fairway. This should run all the way up to near the water. Hopefully it sits down short of it. No, we're in the heavy rough. Wow. 300 yards I've boomed that to. That is obscene. So this is a tough... This is a tough shot, by the way. 104 yards out. Up 3 feet. 12 mile per hour wind. What a beautiful raised green this is. Surrounded by bunkers and rough. I'm not sure if this gets here, but I don't want to overshoot the green. It's a great execution. Ah, it's short. It's actually way short. That ball didn't come out of that rough well at all. So, once again, it's another flop shot. Our greens and regulations can't be that great this round, by the way. So up 7 feet, 63 to 70%, rust really punishing. It's a great recovery shot, and that is going to set us up with a little tap in part. And we do move on to the final hole of Four Haven on C. And this is a par 5, playing 537 yards, stroke index 14. But what a spectacular finishing hole. I wouldn't have expected anything less. Once again, the fairways are divided. Not sure if we're going to be able to hit driver there. Water. 
divide in the final third of the course. This is an absolute stunning hole. <sighs> Driver is risky, but I tell you what, can we? I love the way he's put that tree there. He's trying to say early, you're not taking that other fairway on. But I've got other ideas here. I'm sure we can fade this round. Like I say, I'm an aggressive player, guys. I'm going to keep saying that in this round. Let's see if we can put a fast on this, just to give us an extra bit of distance. So I'm just going to apply an extra touch of fade. Looking for a fast here. That, combined with this fade and wind, should get us over onto that other fairway. Oh, I've not got the fast. Look at the swing line. It should kick out the well, though. And we do get rewarded for being creative there. It's about the first time. So 243 yards out, water is in play, but I think we can come down. <sighs> Tell you what, I don't think we can. Once again, the hazards are fantastically placed, guys. They really, really are. Oh, pressed the wrong button. Let's have a look. That is out of bounds. I'm on a bit of limbo here. I think two iron. Just lands right in that water, so we're going to have to bite the bullet here. Take six iron. Chase this down the fairway. Seven iron should leave us. Yeah, I'm going to take seven iron. The wind and the, the slope at our feet should take us round to the, the centre of the fairway here. But the way... Oh, that's a horrible swing line. The way the hazards have been strategically placed, it's fantastic. This really is a thinking man's course, guys. You can't just rip, uh, rip and grip in this course. So it's going to be a pitch shot, 65 yards out, just looking to get this as close to the flag stick as possible, just lofting this up a little bit, the wind should guide us. If we are far too long, that slope's going to take us back, but I don't intend to be long. Decent execution despite a w uh, wobbly swing line. And that is going to set us up with about a five to six foot putt for birdie. Seven footer. Breaking both ways, but breaking more to the left. And we do pick up a final birdie. And we are going to finish with a six under par, which is a 67. But guys, four haven on C. What a fantastic course. I really hope you enjoyed this round. If you did, please leave a like if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. For me, that is going to get a favourite and a five star. There's no denying that. If you are on Twitter, check out my Twitter uh, page. It is at 1981early. Until the next video, guys, take care. Peace out and love you all. Bye.